come in. You must be Ms. Garcia. Yes, good to meet you. Please, have a seat. Thank you. Who came with you here today? My spouse. I will be asking you some questions. You will need to answer them truthfully, to tell the truth. The truth, la verdad, of course. Yes. Please stand and raise your right hand. Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I promise. Please sit down again. Do you understand what you promised? Yes, to tell the truth, all the truth. Could you show me your passport, your permanent resident card, and your photos? Your passport and permanent resident oh, card? Mi pasaporte, yes, here. Please tell me your name. My name is Maria Elena Garcia. How long have you been a permanent resident of the U.S.? Resident? I don't understand. You are a resident of the United States, yes? Resident? Yes. When did you come here? Uh, six, six year, years. Six years. In what country are you from? What nationality? Nationality, El Salvador. Were you born in El Salvador? I was born in San Miguel. San Miguel, El Salvador? Are you married? Uh, married. Casada, yes. Uh, do you see the line that says home address? Yes. And your phone number is 415-555-6776? Si, yes it is. Are you Hispanic or Latino? Yes, I am Latina. Is your hair black? Yes, it is. Is your height five feet two inches? It is. It says here that you live here. Yes. And you have lived there for five years, is this true? Yes, it is. And do you work at Portola Fashions? Yes, I do. What do you do there? What is your job? A garment worker. I am a garment worker. And in the last five years, how many trips outside the U.S. did you take? Um, n no entiendo. I don't understand. You traveled outside the United States? Yes, I traveled. Traveled before now? Yes, I, I traveled. How many times? Uh, one time, uh, two week, weeks. You went to El Salvador? Yes. El Salvador. I went to El Salvador. Okay. How many times have you been married? Married. Casada. One. One time. When did you get married? What year? I, I, I can't say in English. Was it 1999? Yes, it was. Is your spouse a U.S. citizen? I don't understand. Please say again. Is your spouse, your husband, a citizen of the U.S.? No. What country is he a citizen of? El Salvador. And how many times has your husband been married? Sorry, a, a little nervous. Could you please repeat the question? Your husband, was he married before he married you? No. Do you have children? Yes. Uh, how many? Two. And what are their names? Alejandro is my son. Esperanza is my daughter. Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the U.S.? Have I ever voted? You understand vote, right? Si, sí, votar. Did you ever vote? Yes, in El Salvador. Salvador. And here in the U.S.? No. Do you owe any taxes that are overdue? Overdue? Taxes that are overdue? Yes, taxes you should have paid before now. No, I pay all my taxes. <laughs> have you ever been a member of a terrorist organization? I'm, I'm sorry. Could you please say again slowly? 
Have you ever been a member? A member. Of a terrorist organization? Terrorista? Oh no, I'm no terrorist. <laughs> Have you ever advocated the overthrow of any government by force or violence? Um, I, I don't understand. Can you please explain the question for me? Did you ever try to make people get rid of a government? Ah. By force or violence? No, never. Have you ever been convicted of a crime? Convicted? Uh, could you please tell me what does convicted mean? Convicted means that a judge or jury found that you did something against the law. Oh, not convicted, never. Have you ever been in jail or prison? No. Have you ever been a prostitute? A prostituta? Prostitute, no, never. Have you ever lied to an official of the government so that you could get into the United States? Lied means no tell truth, no? Yes. No, I never lied to get into the United States. Have you ever been removed or excluded or deported from the United States? Uh, let me think. Uh, deported? Removed, excluded, or deported? No. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, armed Forces is like Army, no? Mm. No. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? You are asking me about allegiance I take to be citizen? What did you say? You are asking me about allegiance, oath, that I take to be citizen? Yes. Yes, I understand this oath. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance? You ask me if I will take this oath? Yes, are you willing to take it? Yes, I will take this oath. Have you studied the 100 history and government questions? Yes, I study, studied very much. Okay. What do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? The rights of bills. Uh, Was that okay? Let's try it again. What do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. Did you understand yes. what I said? That's oh. fine. Next, how many terms can the president serve? <clears throat> Let's try another. Who was the first president? George Wash Washington. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Uh, nine justices. Nine. What color are the stars on our flag? The stars. Mm, white. How many states are there in the United States today? Fifteen. I, I mean, fifty. <laughs> Finally, what is the 4th of July? Independence Day. Good. Now, here's a question for you. Please read it for me. What country is north of the United States? Good. Now, please write the sentence I say. Canada is north of the United States. Very good, Ms. Garcia. I see that you've worked very hard. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, we are done with the questions. The only thing you need to do is sign the forms here. Okay, here. And here. Okay. Congratulations, Ms. Garcia. I can tell that you'll be a very good citizen of the United States. Did I, did, did I pass? Yes, you passed. Thank you. Thank you for your help to make me a citizen. <laughs> You're very welcome. Cảm ơn quý vị đã quan tâm theo dõi. Xin trân trọng kính chào 
và hẹn gặp lại ở các video tiếp theo.